The same team, the same map, different game type. Truth, why did you make me play this, man? <laughs> Matching up against Atsum Wim guys, EU, Pasm, Z Boss, and uh, X I Sap this time instead of Washlat. Um, so this was a really good, uh, decent, well, decent team of um, uh, players in Halo 3 MCC guys. Uh, a couple of these guys were 50s. I think Atsum Wim was a 50, and I believe. Uh, Z Boss was also a Halo 350. EU Pasm was quite high. He was like a full with 50 player. And this is just a sweaty match up on uh, Standoff again um, with a bit of multi flag CTF. Now, um, going into this one, guys, I was really quite nervous. Um, I think this gameplay was my uh, like second 46 match that I played with um, Gamble, obviously, Laser King, so that reassured me. I was also playing with Truth and KBH Strafe. And I've been friends with these guys for a little while now, and uh, you know. This standoff game, like Truth was like, we should just play anyone in objective, man. We will destroy all. And I said to him, what really standoff, um, you know, AR stars. So I did have my doubts, um, but you know, I thought I'd run with it. You know, I'm a pretty good CTF player, so I thought I'd have a go. Um, but I hated AR starts on Halo 3 MCC, guys, so I'm really excited to bring this one out to you today to say, comment on things I did well in this game, playing things that didn't go, uh, you know, as according to plan. Um, so obviously for the most of the beginning of the game I was mowing the truth because we picked this game type and I had no weaponry to really <laughs> make use of, you know, it feels a bit like Halo 5, get that VR. Um, <laughs> but, you know, basically I had no weaponry, um, so every time I could get a VR I would. Um, you know, I always hated AR starts for objective game types in Halo 3 uh, when it's radar, but that's just the way it has to work. Um, so, you know, naturally I would always get one. And, uh, you know, I didn't really have a game plan going into this. Obviously, I played a couple of 50s and two really, you know, two really other good players um, and a team of four. So I knew that I had to be quite smart on this. And we had to make a certain two things on standoff, like for any standoff match. One, that we had the laser because Gamble was going to go off with that. And also to make sure that we stopped any kind of transportation going to and from our base. Um, CTF is all about timing guys you know when's best to make that pull how many dead have we got you know it really does just require that one time to make that clear run and you know that's going to win you a CTF match so definitely what one thing I really wanted to do in this gameplay was make use of the bubble shield because I would be able to get across easier with the bubble shield um, you know in transit with the flag if the vehicle wasn't available then bubble shields the way um, so I was definitely trying to make that possible Generally, when you play standoff um, flag with uh, AR starts, I would always recommend obviously getting a VR so you can sort of combat from range, but also to take uh, routes on the left side of their base if you're red team. And similarly, actually, for the blue team, I would take the left hand side as well because you can actually get yourself a bubble shield and you know try and push in the base. Camo, like uh, for any CTF match, is very important as well. Camo can really definitely help you out. Um, you know, times well, you can really make a, a, an effective push on their base. So, actually, camo is definitely um, a power up you should probably grab on this map as well. It's pretty useful for the laser guys, well, if you can get that. Um, so, right there, just socking it to Atsum Worm. He had the shot in, I was able to AR beat him down somehow. So, that was absolutely huge play. Really great cover for my teammate KBH Strafe there. I think Gamble was saying, Watch Serenities, because I was more or less like. Not the designated flag puller, but I was the guy that was going to, you know, help out with the flag. Um, I was going to, you know, do the work to help the flag guy get out of the base. So right here, we're trying to pull out our first one, which is a really nice play from us. I'm trying not to extract the flag carrier here, but I'm trying to, you know, delay this blue guy from, you know, chasing my teammates as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, I do choke the kill there by calling out to my teammate. He's really weak. And as you can see, we're making a really great uh, amount of progress on that first pull. So that's absolutely huge play from Team Serenities and Co. So at this point, guys, I was like quite happy. You know, it looked pretty good. It looked like we were doing really well. You know, we, we had one flag for us, and we actually did score the first flag. So that's an absolutely huge play. Um, at this point, guys, you know, looking to try and deal with this camo guy. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop him. But our flag is now being pulled. Great play from Atsum Wim and his team. Um, you know, to start up a counter pull uh, right away from us capping our first flag. It's definitely a good time to do it. It gets uh, the other, you know, the team that just scored on the run around, and they pulled it out quite. 
uh, well, not completely far out of our base, but a vulnerable position. Um, you know, obviously they can get bubble shield. We don't know what kind of weapons they have and that kind of stuff. So we definitely just want to delay this as much as possible. As you can see, they have deployed the bubble shield. Try to bring the mongoose on. Um, as you can see, the guy's trying to get onto it there. So I know that I have to stop that transport. Managed to stop the flag guy. Get a really nice double smack the driver in the face. And that's going to stop that run, guys. But unfortunately for us, it has got quite far away, you know, near to the helipad. So... To return this will be a bit of a bitch, as you can see it's a very <laughs> slow return time. Yeah, you're actually better with a flag that it lets it kind of reset on its own. Um, it does take quite a long time for that to happen as well, but all I can really do here is defend. You know, I've got the laser too. Um, I, I just want to blow up any vehicles with that, make sure they can't get away. Um, so as you can see, I get the killing spree of the laser there. It's really important for me to destroy that warhog because they could have easily... Uh, killed my teammates and then taken that flag. So that that's all I needed to do on that life. You know, now I have to rely on my teammates so they can you know stop that. At this point, we were sort of panicking a little bit because we didn't know how we were going to get that flag back home. Um, it was in quite a vulnerable position. Um, you know, we just knew that we had to defend this as much as possible and get the enemy team weak. Um, Truth was actually saying at this point, you know, we can stop their run, but perhaps we should just go for a flag of our own because they're distracted putting this in. So that's what Truth and I try and do. You know, go into the base. And, uh, you know, Truth, uh, I really uh, hated you for making me play this, man, but at the end I loved you for it, so, uh, <laughs> but it was a really good game, um, you know, and uh, right here, like, trying to help out and um, stop this flag from going in. Uh, I can't really do a lot here at this point, you know, um, Truth died earlier on, so I, I'm kind of like alone at this base, but a little bit of a choke on my part here as well, I was trying to pick up the flag and I ended up juggling the um, pistol that I had. And I couldn't actually, um, you know, get the flag again. So, unfortunately for me, like I didn't really make uh, a good play there as I pushed their base, and no progress was made other than the 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 uh, blue team scored a flag and tied up with us. So, unfortunately, like that flag juggle was a little bit disappointing. Um, obviously, there was a bit of nerves there, um, not knowing what to do. Should have been a little more persistent on that flag pull. I think, you know, even if it didn't really get that far, you know, like similarly to how they did it our helipad, you know, it got the flag out at least, and uh, that would have had out some women his team, you know, um, panicking, so um, I should have definitely persisted with that and been a bit more confident, I think, that probably would have helped out my team a little bit. So right here guys, tied one all, um, obviously it was a really nice, annoying push from that blue guy, he's able to drive into the camo, pick it up and kill me. Um, that's going to be pretty uh, dangerous for us, so we have to make sure that guy stops because he could potentially cause problems at our home base. So, um, as you can see, the warthog's up here, guys. Um, I don't want to drive it just yet because I'm not sure about the laser whereabouts. Um, there's no point in getting a hog, especially in CTF, you know, going too dead and your two teammates are left vulnerable. Um, you have to make sure that you make those hog pushes at the right time. It's a really nice idea to, like, just grab the bubble shield anyway. Um, if you're about to get attacked by several people, it's a nice play to actually grab it because if the enemy team like try to walk in this direction and pick up their own equipment, you know, it's already been used by yourself, so that's definitely a play that you want to make. Again, try not to obstruct the flag guy. I was communicating to um, KBH Strafe here, the guys above me, and uh, it was a really bad play by me. Like, I didn't expect um, a car to actually, like, go that far and I accidentally end up nading him. Um, it was a big mistake on my part and I didn't intend for that to happen. And as you can see here, I can't get the flag out on my own. So that's just really unfortunate. I didn't expect Strafe to like push out as much as he did. Um, that's why I threw the nade in front of him because I wanted the guy to land on it so he could kill him or you know I could kill him. So at this point, like I'm just looking to make sure that our flag doesn't go any further. Um, but I kind of reason that you know, just sitting there on the flag is really just not going to help the team. So we have to hope that the flag resets on its own. At this point, Truth's like saying, you know, let's get on the hog. Let's uh, let's just make a distraction here. So that was a really nice play from Truth when I decided to do that. And uh, you know, we just have to be careful. We have to make sure that the, um, the, the you know the blue team doesn't get away on our flag. As you can see, they got it in the hog right now, and that's a nice stop from uh, KBH Strafe there or Gamble, whoever had the laser. Um, you, you know, we were able to stop that hog. That was a really nice play from Mark actually to take the initiative of the hog. You know, having the hog now and the laser is going to be huge for us. We can just completely patrol the flag. We don't have to, uh, you know, just sort of build dominance over the map now. You know, the war hog is so important on standoff, um, you know, to survey that flag. So that's going to be really useful for us. We just want to keep driving around and keep killing them. And, uh, you know, eventually pull out theirs as well. So at this point I was saying to Mark, we need to get back to that flag because I can see they're moving in the direction of it. And uh, 
I think he drifts off a little bit too far here in my opinion. Um, over to kill a couple of guys there, but they are probably going to get a touch on that flag, so we definitely want to get back. Um, unfortunately for us, that guy had rockets, um, Mark wasn't to know that. I think Mark probably drifted a little bit too far with the hog, like over their base, um, considering like, uh, you know, the two guys were there, but obviously he didn't know that at the time, so it's not his fault, it's just we have to kind of act on that now. Um, as you can see, Mark with the initiative again, you know, taking me to the base. Um, you know, we need to really get a flag out now. They've had uh, two more pulls than us at this later stage of the game, so we definitely ha want to get back in their base and, you know, create problems there too. So uh, that's exactly what I decided to do, guys. I've got in more or less undetected. They don't know where we are exactly in the base, so I just need to sort of hide it out. They've killed one. They only spotted one of us actually go inside. They didn't see both of us go in at the same time. So I don't think the blue team know that I'm here, so I can stay sort of undetected. So I just wait for the right time in which I, you know, can pull out the flag. I can't do it straight away because, uh, you know, I've got two people above me. I just want to wait till they sort of disappear and then I can pull out the flag. I'm not going to juggle it when I pick it up either because um, if I do that, I'll know which way I'm going. Oh, okay, never mind, I juggle it. Um, <laughs> maybe there was uh, two dead and that's why I decided to juggle it. Um, that would have been the only circumstance because I know that I can get a fair distance. At this point, you can see I've grabbed the bubble shield on my way out because I know I'm going to need that later on. Unfortunately for me, I end up dying, but yeah, my teammate's able to get it. He gets himself a bit of cover. That's going to be a really huge bit of play for my teammates to continue that run. And as you can see, using the nice flag route with the bubble there, um, just great play from our team. Um, at this point, you know, Adson weren't very apt on the counter, so I'm going to want to, you know, stop him, and I managed to do that. Then I'm going to put more pressure on these guys with the um, assault rifle from high, which is really effective. I stopped shooting that guy because I know he's almost dead, and I need to stop that guy from scoring that flag. So at this point, we just want to have like a mad rush. Is we need to get that flag in. And at this point, my teammate grabs him and just says, go, 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 help them defend, you know, just pull out theirs, we'll get the 3-2 win. So, as you can see, guys, it's starting to heat up here, and that's some women team have nearly got that flag, our flag home. So, Serenity is going to want to push inside and create a few distractions, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. At this point, guys, we are in a sort of advantage position at the moment, because we scored ours first. And my teammates are doing really well to slay them, and we have got a few dead. And this is the final push from Serenis. He's going to, you know, really make magic here as he's pulling out the other flag. The last flag wins, guys. We only need one more to win this. And uh, here's Serenis goes, getting the bubble shield again. Really nice play for myself there. Going to put that down for a bit of cover. I know I'm going to get shot, so definitely want to keep going. He's got a little bit of time left to get that flag home. Max and women's his team are about to score their second, but Serenis is pulling home the winning flag. And he's nearly there, he's nearly past the barriers, he's about to walk it in for his 46th game. And there we go guys, that's the third flag and that's a win for Team Serenis. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. This was a really great one, I enjoyed playing my boys on Halo 3 MCC. Another one of my 46 games, this was Serenis guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.